in East Houston near Greens Bayou. Now, Adam, what's going on here? Yeah, so Ron, originally the FEMA's temporary housing program for Harvey victims was supposed to end after this upcoming Monday, but the state intervened and they helped get that deadline pushed another six months. The catch, though, is that for people who want to stay in trailers like these, they now have to pay. Right about here. Four feet of water from Harvey. This was where we lived last winter. Flooded Millie Houghton's paid off home for the first time. We knew people from Katrina but we had no idea till it hit us. Now, after more than $100,000 in damage, no flood insurance, trouble getting a rebuilding permit. These were the stickers when Philip was in the hospital and every day I'd go. Caring for her husband's <laughs> ongoing guess. health problems and not to mention an unexpected car note. Our money is gone before we even get it. It's his social security now. But last June. It's night and day different. Some relief from this FEMA trailer. Climate control. Hot running hot water, things you don't realize what you're going to be without. But FEMA officials say starting next month, that trailer will cost her. Well, according to the Code of Federal Regulations and the Stafford Act, we can only have the program for 18 months from start to finish. And in order to extend it, that's when we would have to start charging rent. FEMA sent a letter telling Harvey victims that they can't afford fair market rent. This is to appeal the 797 a month. They may, if eligible, have their rate reduced to as low as $50 per month. Can't go any lower than that by law. For now, Houghton is fighting the rate. We can't afford another $797 a month. We can't, we'll move back in here. While fighting for her husband's health. I've lost everything. I don't want to lose Philip. And staff with the nonprofit Baker Ripley is currently helping Houghton with her appeal. They recommend you call 211 if you need help. Now, FEMA told me that that appeal application and all the necessary documents do need to be in by 5 p.m. on Monday, and they hope to make a decision on each of these cases by midnight on Monday. Reporting live in East Houston, Adam Bennett, KHU 11 News. So many people still suffering from the effects of Harvey. Thank Your heart you, has Adam. to go out to them.